Hey everybody, this is Linkyover12, welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. In the last video, uh, we got to this point in the Goron Mines. Now, right now, we've got a little bit of an issue. We've got a ton of archers up there, and I really don't think I have enough slingshots to hit them. So, instead of wasting our pumpkin seeds on these guys, let's see just how far we can just sneak our way up with all this cover that we have. It shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, move ourselves over here. Looks like we have a good chance of moving a bit further. Ah, this should do the trick. Head over here. Avoid that guy. Open this chest up and we'll find inside. Small key. Alright, now that we've taken care of that, let's head back over to this side. Alright, stop off right here. Trust me, you don't want to try to keep moving. Alright, that spot over there doesn't seem too difficult to run, and plus we can just hop, skip, and jump. And we're safe again. Now let's just see what's on the other side of this. Oh. This is where you're going to have to have some reaction time, because you actually have to avoid a lot to get across. Uh, first things first, we have this going on. So, really recommend trying to get as far as possible and then putting on your boots right about the middle. I would really recommend just using the third spot, because if you don't, you're not going to make it. If you tried using the one spot, it's really just going to throw you off. Trust me, you won't make it in time. Now we take care of that. Hit in here, and oh, okay, this is the Ferrora's room. Alright, so first was the room with the Dens of Pearl, or the Goron Ruby. This one is the, uh, Kokiri Emerald. Yes. And we just talked to this guy, and I never realized he was covered with moss. It's a lot better to see this game in high definition so you can actually see exactly what's on the characters. Now, if I remember right, this guy's voice is really high-pitched and elderly sounding, so this is going to be interesting. Oh, ah, hey young human. I am pleased to see you make it this far, brother. I am one of the elders of the Goron tribe. My name is Gor Ebizur. I have heard of the plight of our patriarch. Otherwise, you would not have come to see me. You have heard. I'm sorry about that. Here, take this, brother. Got another key shard. I know about the key shards. And, oh, here's something. There is something that may help you. A weapon said to have been left in the mines by the hero of old. It is beyond price, so you would have practiced it through generations. Protected it, sorry. I cannot read today, I cannot talk today. Wow, I just completely stink altogether, don't I? Each of the rooms have a matching... Each of the rooms have a matching ruby in it, so that's kind of cool. You can get a red ruby from the first one, you can get a green ruby from this one, you can get a blue ruby from the next one. Don't really need them right now, so I'm just going to skip them and head over here. Now, let's just head across here. There's a lot of treasure chests that I'm skipping, and I just popped my mic. I'm so sorry. This is where we're going to have some fun. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to meet... I would like you to meet the mid boss. This guy over here. Let's get right up to it. And I just bumped my mic again. I gotta watch out for this thing. Whoa! Human! What business does a human have coming here? None! No business! This is forbidden place! You will protect this treasure from you! 
Oh, nice job, smartass. Alright, so this guy, it's kind of like the same function that you have facing off against the Gorons coming up to the Death Mountain. So... Okay, I remember how to fight this guy now. Oh dear. Sorry. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Let's try that again. Get close to him. And stay close. And as soon as he starts spinning, try to just toss him off the side of the place. This is where the method that I told you about keeping your enemies on the side and you on the inside comes in handy. Because you'll throw them. Now at this point, it is kind of more helpful for you to stay on this side. There he goes. <laughs> and he just bounces around. <laughs> Alright, now I'd recommend running. Get him to come to you. I'd say run around here is a good spot. That was a close one, I almost missed that reaction. Alright, so we got one more to hit him with. So let's see, moving over here should be safe enough. And down you go. Bounce around and just get yourself burnt. How's your butt? Nice and toasty? There you go, baby face. Oh, that hurt. A lot. Who knew that humans were capable of such feats of strength? Uh, maybe. Are you going to see the patriarch of our tribe? Uh, no. I'm just here to sightsee. So that's why you're here. In that case, take the weapon of the hero from the past. But in exchange, you must save the patriarch of our tribe. Oh dear god, we took care of all that and now the lava's rising. I don't really think that's a good sign. Anyway. Now that we've taken care of that... Oh, that didn't even take up most of the video either. That's only like half. Sweet, we can actually do some more mechanics. Next up. Alright, this treasure chest here. Inside we'll find something very useful, and I have to drop this down because I'm peeking again. There. I hope I'm... Yeah, I'm not picking anymore. Thank goodness. I had to change my volume on this twice now. I hope it didn't have to completely mess up the video. Alright, we got the Hero's Bow treasure. The Goron said to have once belonged to a hero from the past. This is actually the fairy bow from Ocarina of Time. Just to let everyone know. Alright, this is going to be replacing our slingshot because same sort of mechanic, same Set. And this is a main mechanic where it actually is better to have it on your R button than on to any other because of how it works. Okay. Take care of him. And next, always aim for whatever is in the middle of the screen. So 
little trick about this game's mechanics and how it plays out. I uh, don't really think we need to hit that, it's just gonna fall in front of us. So don't waste your arrows either. That's my recommendation. Head to around the middle, or a little further actually. And yes, these guys should turn on. Once they've turned on, you'll notice this bar here on the ground. They can only shoot just inside of this, so you're actually safe standing near the middle. Try to aim for these guys and just lead their eye just ever so slightly, and you'll be able to knock it out. Kinda missed that one. Hang on, my... There it goes. Sorry, my gamepad was kind of off-center. No wonder my gamepad's off-center, my eyes are off-center too. There. That should fix it. And next up... Oh, that's all? Sweet, just not got that one then. Alright, now that we've taken care of that, let's see here. Over into this one? Yes. Pull out this guy. And you get to this hidden room here. There we go. And let's talk to this guy. Ah, you're here at last. I heard that to my pay a visit, young human. I am foresighted in all things. Here you go, the last key shard. Combine all the three shards now. We now have the big key. By the way, most of the keys will look like completely different from each other. They're all going to be pretty unique. If you use that key, you can open the room where Darbus, the tribal patriarch, is being held. Who knows how powerful Darbus is in his new grotesque form. But I suppose I should trust your power, considering you came this far. Hurry now, to the patriarch's room. Alright, we have 125 rupees. I'd say grabbing another one would be too much difficulty. We got 50 rupees. Yeah, I think it'd be kind of horrid if they just said, Here, have 50 rupees. After just giving you nothing the first time and second time. Alright, sorry about that. I'm really messing up my speed patterns today. Now then, let's pull this out. I'd say I've got about another seven minutes left. And on we go. Alright, next spot. Let's see here. Alright. Oh, um, a couple things. I am planning on starting my next Let's Play pretty soon. It's gonna be something that everyone should enjoy. It's also something I hinted at while I was still playing my Minecraft videos. And I will be restarting my Minecraft as soon as I get a little of free time. Because I actually have some people who can give me some help with it. About it. Pop that and it'll just drop right off. Over here. Save your arrows. You don't need to use them for this. Stay down if you end up in this situation. You can use your arrows on these guys, but like I said, just save them because you're gonna need them later. There we go. Besides, losing one or two parts isn't gonna hurt you as much as that. Also, a couple of things about what's going on right now in my life. A uh, bit of an update, I moved to a new location. I am with roommates that are extremely awesome. And overall, I'm just having a lot of fun. Alright, now I would actually recommend just using your arrows and these things because they are going to be in your way as you just saw. So 
Besides, you are getting enough arrows to refill as you go along through here, at least. Alright, we've come to this point. If you look up there, there's a little nudge. Come over here. Press down the switch. We'll rise up to this spot up here, and we'll cross another Dodongo. Now, this Dodongo is here to guard this nudge. If you can take care of him, it shouldn't be all that hard. You just gotta walk around. Take him to hit you very easily. It's a little bit difficult to take care of him from up there, so I'm just gonna take care of him down here. And that should do it. Thanks for those hearts you took from me, you bastard. Alright. This should do it. Wasted eight arrows. You'll see the switch. Knock it. And there you go. Walk on through and get back into this room. And now we're at pretty much the highest point in this room. Let's see what we've got here. Another purple rupee? That should have maxed up. Ooh, not quite. Alright. Let's see. Snap those. And if you hit this switch, it'll complete the full transport chain. Bring this around back here. And then we can take care of those archers in this room. Or, not archers in this room. Oh, these idiots. Die. I think I can actually hit these guys with my bow if I want to. There we go. But I didn't need to, so... Knock an arrow and fire it here. That had enough of in it. Take care of those guys. There we go. And that takes care of that issue, because we don't like those guys at all. At least I don't. <laughs> There we go, take care of them. And just start sniping. Alright, let's see if I can angle this right. I have a lot of fun sniping. As you can cl plainly see. I think that's all of them. Well, that was boring. Oh no, there should actually be a couple more. We want to hit this. The right, reason why we want to hit this is because if you look at that wall, it's fake. And this is the hidden switch. There we go. Alright, we're practically two-thirds through the video now. Alright, once you take care of that hidden switch, you can come up here, you find these guys. They have literally an explosive barrel behind them. Not very smart stands, if I may say so. Y'all guys are not very bright at all. In fact, you may have been the dumbest out of the entire lot. Alright, 
So hit this switch, and it'll start this crane, and this crane will pull it over over here. And as you see by the cutscene, we have one more drawbridge to bring us to the next part of this dungeon. We're about two thirds of the way. Hit my 20 minute mark. Yeah, we're almost there, people. Let this bring us over here. Cut that. There we go. Now we just have to wait for us to be brought back across again. there. Alright, so this is the last part of the dungeon. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, but I'll save that for next time, so hope you guys have fun. I'll see you guys then. This is Link Gamer 12 signing out.